Hello everyone, welcome to the GSB. I am GSB, Greg Scott Bailey. Um, well, here we are. We're going to be doing a TV show review. Uh, my very first episode is going to be about Fear of the Walking Dead. So, if uh, you haven't seen this episode, I want you to know that this is a spoiler video. I'm going to talk about things that happen in the episode. Not a lot, but it's enough to say that uh, if you don't want to be spoiled, just go ahead and stop now. Um, save this link for when you watch the episode and come back and check me out later. If you don't mind spoilers, or if you've seen the episode, or if you've seen a lot of the trailers and things um, leading up to it, if you've read a lot of the chat boards and you're interested in my opinion, thank you. Uh, well, stay tuned, and here we go. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> you can tell I'm new to this. Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump right into uh, my, uh, my rating. I, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. And a lot of folks, um, they'll, they'll say, well, that's not very good. Actually, that, I, I consider a 7.5 out of 10 a very good rating. When you start getting down to 5 out of 10, that's where it's like, oh, um, you know, it, it, it's, that's where it's at 50%. That's where it's just like, eh. And then it goes to, down to hate it, worse. Yeah. 7.5 out of 10, it, it's an episode that made me want to come back and watch the next next episode. It actually makes me want to watch the rest of the series. I think it built a decent tone. There wasn't a holy crap factor. It wasn't a um, wow factor that just blew my mind. But it was enjoyable. And I liked the tone. I liked the setting. I liked the characters and the actors that uh, they've shown us so far. So 7.5 out of 10. And uh, so speaking of the characters, let's get into a little bit of that. The characters are, um, uh, let's see, Travis Manawa, played by Cliff Curtis, uh, Madison Clark, and I, I, I forget the actress's name. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll start getting used to them as the show goes. Um, Liza um, is played by Elizabeth Rodriguez. We know Elizabeth Rodriguez from Orange is the New Black. Um, if you watch that show, she's the one uh, that plays Diaz, uh, the one that takes over for Red in the kitchen, uh, when Red loses the kitchen. Anyways, we're not talking about Orange is the New Black, we're talking about Fear of the Walking Dead. So, um, those are the two actors that I know, Cliff Curtis and Elizabeth Rodriguez. Everyone else is actually fresh. I don't know, um, any of these actors, and I like that. I like that because it gives a clean slate going into it. Um, now, granted, I didn't know Andrew Lincoln before, the Walking Dead, and now I know him and Rick, and you know five seasons worth of oh my God, Rick. Um, so in in Fear of the Walking Dead, we get used to um, those characters. We get used to um, Nick, which is Madison's son. Um, he's the one that starts off the episode uh, coming out of a high, waking up, and finding Gloria, his girlfriend or girl who is a friend, uh, munching on a couple other junkies in the abandoned church. Um, so that was really great. We actually got a walker right off the back, and then we got to go to, aha, we aren't in full-fledged apocalypse yet. We are in the days while Rick was in a coma, uh, except um, for those who don't know, we're in Los Angeles. We're not in Atlanta, Georgia, where The Walking Dead takes place. Fear of the Walking Dead is in L.A. Um, I, I would really hope at this point, if you're watching my video, you already saw all that stuff. Um, if I'm the one informing you, hey. So, um, I would say that, uh, um, those characters, right, are, are, are kind of the ones that really just kind of pulled me in. Uh, one of the other characters, Alicia, which is Madison's, uh, other, um, child. Alicia, it, it, she's kind of playing a character that I'm really hoping that they will build up more. She's playing the I'm too smart to still be in high school kind of character. And a lot of that worries me. It worries me that they're going to go ahead and just kill her off right away. She might end up being the uh, the child that gets, you know, chomped on uh, within the first two or three episodes. I don't know. I, I'm not necessarily putting my money down that she's one of them that's going to go right away. But um, I don't really see much character development from her. I, I hate to put a, a, a stomper on the, the love thing for her, but 
um, her and her, her boyfriend in high school, um, it, it was a little too sappy for me. So I, I think, you know, she might end up being an annoying character that people are just ready to just get off the show. Um, so, but you know, the actress herself, I think portrayed it really well. So I'm hoping that they give her some character development and they push her a little bit further as we go into the, uh, the season. Um, Nick, um, the the actor uh kind of reminds me of Johnny Depp a little bit with his his mannerisms and being like um um strung out a little bit but that's okay uh i yeah you know, some people on the chat boards since the show came out have mentioned how um it's funny how a druggie will look like um a, a walker already um and i think i think they actually kind of did that on purpose but i think they are actually showing through Nick's eyes that he he saw something that is just effed up and he just doesn't know like if people are going to believe him or not or if he was just tweaking out on drugs and so it's really neat to see that it's really neat to see the mundane life the the domestic issues that um Travis and Madison are going through with uh Nick the runaway druggie uh, with the the daughter that's ready to get out in, out of high school and into college and get away from mom and stepdad, it's interesting to see Travis has a son with Liza and what is going to come out of that. I I think Travis is actually going to have a moment where he's got to either he's got to split away from the group and try to find his son and find Liza and save them along with Madison and Nick and Alicia. So, I don't know, I, it's really just like, I think they gave us a lot of build-up and context for us to just start going forward. I, I'm, I'm really hoping that by next episode, we really just go right on into the apocalypse starting. And um, from the, the previews and lead-up to the, uh, the, the season, I think they're going to start off right away. I really hope I'm right um, that by episode two... Um, things are going to start going in motion. This is where I agree with people that this episode is probably slow and probably took a while, but I think people actually, um, there we're, we're, we're used to five seasons of the walking dead. We're used to it happening and being, and you know, we're, we're all, well, we're wanting it to be just in the chaos, but we need the pilot episode to build. We need it to start off everybody's understanding of the characters that we're going to follow along on this journey. And, uh, um, so yeah. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's the characters that, that I see, um, um, right away. We lost uh, a, a character, Calvin, uh, you know, shot and got up and walked away and became a walker from a gunshot death. So the, right there, what Jenner said in, uh, the walking dead, it's true. Even at this point, Everybody's infected. Somebody died from a gunshot wound, got up, and became a walker. So we know that that's true. Um, we we know that uh, by the time Travis went to the church, the other bodies were missing there. So um, as far as we know, those are either um, you know walkers. The, the ones at the church are probably um, um, they, they're probably getting into other people's homes. Uh, the authorities have probably already uh, went and got them. Uh, we saw the guy on the freeway. We don't know what's going on with that, but we saw him starting to bite uh, a couple of the paramedics. We know that they're going to get infected. They're probably going to be in the hospital, and that's where you know the mass amount of people start changing. So I would not be surprised if by episode two, bam, it starts getting crazy. And um, yeah, I you know we won't know until we watch it. Um. My predictions as far as like who we're going to lose uh, within the first season, I think one of the three kids is going to go. Um, either Nick, Alicia, or um, Travis's son. Um, I, I think we're going to lose one of them. And I think we're going to lose the, the principal of the, of the high school. Um, I think they're going to... I don't know if the this kid Tobias is going to end up being a character that somehow comes back into the group. While I find the the stereotypical uh, pimply overweight 
you know, genius, nerdy kid of, of the school. I, I like the idea of there becoming a, a, a way for a kid like that to be someone who can rise above in the apocalypse. I think we're going to lose him, um, or he's just not going to come back into it. He might end up just being that pilot episode's um, subtext character who, who knows there, there's something more to this virus than, than, you know, than the authorities are letting on. And then that's it. He might not come back. I don't know. I, I haven't read his IMDb. Um, let's see. I think that's about it. Um, I, I don't want to do too big of a video for the first one. Pardon me. What, my whistle there? Um, so I would like to hear, uh, of course, uh, what you think. Uh, try to keep the comments as civil as possible. I don't want people arguing on, on my videos. But I would like to hear your thoughts. Where do you think it's going to go? Where do you think it's not going to go? If you didn't like the, uh, the, the, the episode, if you don't like where the show's going to go, move along to something else. I'd like to talk to people who did like the show and where they see things going, even if we don't agree with where we think the show's going to go. Um, so uh, go ahead and post in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe. And uh, yeah, until the next adventure.